folks, I can't believe it, but yet I can somehow. Matt Walsh is selling a diaper fetish dolls. Now, this is real, 100% real, and it is beyond, beyond parody, folks. But before I get into making fun of the people that support this, I just want to show you, yes, this is the front page of the Daily Wire. Little Benny Shapiro's Daily Wire. And imagine, imagine if this was Dylan Mulvaney. Imagine if this was any gay person, any trans person was doing this, selling a baby version in a diaper of their bearded self. It specifically says on their page for your kids to play with. Imagine if they're doing this. They'd be outraged. Every single conservative influencer would have this on their timeline. Look what these trends that gay people are doing. They're specifically putting out plush dolls for your kids to play with of adults in diapers. Look what these groomers are trying to do. Shoe on head. Would have been done 10 videos already calling this out. Would have been a, a Balenciaga conspiracy about how they're trying to groom your children. Yeah, will they do it? Crickets. It's no problem, folks. It's all cool, copacetic. Nothing to see here. Just move along. No, obviously, I don't give a shit if he does this, right? I don't actually believe he's trying to groom children with this. Clearly, this is just some kind of stupid plushie for his idiot cult members who follow him to buy, which they are doing in droves. I'm about to show you. But regardless, if it were a gay or lesbian person or anybody on the left doing this, the propaganda will be endless, nonstop, with their one-sided narrative towards it. It will be used as 100% proof that they're out to molest your children and groom them. We all know it's true. But folks, this is how crazy it is. This dude has built up a cult around himself. Yeah, yes, Matt Walsh, a charisma black hole. Somebody who's not handsome, not intelligent, not smart, not funny. Nothing going for him except that he spreads hatred and bigotry towards gay and trans people. And that's literally all it takes to build a cult following among the worst among us. Don't believe me, here we are. And they refer to Matt Walsh as their daddy, Daddy Walsh. Cringe warning. These are real people. These are real Matt Walsh fans. All right, sweet Daddy Walsh. Your wish is my command. Sweet baby gang, that's what they call themselves. Yeah, there they are. I got a little baby Matt Walsh right, tattooed themselves forever. There's some good life decisions, and uh, they're not the only one involved in this cringe. Now I have one question for you. Sweet, sweet Daddy, Daddy Walsh. Walsh. When are you joining the sweet baby gang Facebook, Facebook group? Why haven't you joined, you joined the Facebook, Facebook group, group yet? Daddy. We're waiting for you. Your sweet babies need you. And you're just letting us down. I'm cordially inviting you to join the loyalists of your sweet babies. So, what are you waiting for? Come on, man. Yeah, come I have on, one question. Man. Get involved in the sweet baby gang. Daddy Walsh. Nothing creepy about this at all. Just totally fucking normal. And, uh, gets even worse. They've created whole songs dedicated to their Daddy Walsh. There is a gang of sweet babies. We're called the Sweet Baby Gang. Our dad? I guess it's Mad Walsh. I no longer like this analogy. All right, this hurt my soul, folks. It is hurting me down to the fiber of my core. Hey, Matt. My name's David. This is Vassi. Hello. We're dedicated members of the Sweet Baby Gang, and we're getting married in a couple months. Two months, actually. October 1st. And we would very much like for you and your family to join us. She was raised Catholic, and I was raised Christian but not Catholic. But she's, she's, uh, she's got me coming around, and uh, largely due to your influence I, is what led me to decide to get married, have children, and possibly convert to Catholicism. He loves you. He honors you, okay? Let's be real. And uh, cool. it's a tradition in her family to have godparents that were that were married in a Catholic church. And because none of my family was married in a Catholic church, and since you're already our parent in a certain way, we would love for you to join us and be our godparents. Oh, my wedding. fucking God. Yeah, hey, uh, my family who would actually take care of my kids aren't allowed to. If we die or something, we can't leave with my family because they didn't get married to Catholic Church. Totally normal. So you, total stranger who doesn't know us, would you raise our kids if we die horribly? Totally normal. Totally fucking normal. Um, so we would love to fly you and your family out here and um, can't wait to meet you. Yeah, we 
are super excited, okay? You better come. SPG for life. Yeah. Oh my God. Sweet baby gang for life. Holy God. Conservatives are so fucking weird. Just when you think they can't get any weirder, life finds a way.